I'm sorry if like I'm with my hands and you can hear my jacket. I didn't think it would do that. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Telling the Told and Untold. My name is Tiho. So on the 20th of May of this year, Netflix released a South African series called Blood and Water. By the time I'm filming this, it's currently number one in over 10 countries, including the United States, United Kingdom, and obviously South Africa. So if you haven't watched Blood and Water, just go watch it. It's really good. Support local people. So after Blood and Water was released, there was this tweet going around I'm basically just saying that Blood and Water is based off of a true story that happened in Cape Town about a girl who met her sister 17 years later after being kidnapped. Similar to Blood and Water, like how the main character Buleng meets this other girl who she assumes is her sister that was abducted 17 years ago and they end up going to the same school. So if you haven't already guessed, today I'll be covering the kidnapping of Stephanie Nurse. So on the 27th of April 1997 at Grotesquier Hospital, Celeste and her then husband, Mourn Nurse, welcomed their first child. It was a girl and they decided to name her Stephanie Nurse. And you know, they were excited as their first child. You know, the future seemed bright and you know, it was just a beautiful moment for both of them. Unfortunately, three days later, Stephanie Nurse was kidnapped. So Celeste says that on that day she woke up, you know, and she was still half asleep and she saw a nurse with Stephanie. And the nurse just told her to go back to sleep as Stephanie was just a bit fussy, you know. And Celeste seeing a nurse, you know, someone in a nurse uniform, she's in a hospital, really not thinking that anything was wrong, just went back to bed. Unfortunately, that would probably be a decision that she'd regret for the next 17 years. When she woke up, Stephanie wasn't there and she immediately called all the nurses and they searched the whole maternity ward. They called the police, but they couldn't find Stephanie. And then went home without their baby girl, Stephanie. At the same time this was happening, Lavana Solomon went home with a baby girl to her husband Michael Solomon and they decided to name their baby girl Mish. While this was happening the nurses were grieving the loss of their daughter not knowing where she was, whether she was safe, whether she was alive. So similar to Blood and Water, the nurses would celebrate Stephanie's birthday every year. They would have a cake with birthday candles and just wish her a happy birthday, hoping that one day they'd be able to wish a happy birthday with her right there standing with them. 17 years later at Swan's Fake High School, I hope I said that properly, Swan's Fake. At this time, Mish Solomon was in her matric year. She had a boyfriend. Things at home were good. She still had both her parents. You know, she was happy. She was excited. The future seemed bright, just like the nurse's future seemed bright 17 years ago. And matrix were there, you know, grade eight started rolling around in the school. And there was this one grade eight that everyone said looked exactly like Stephanie. It scared some people, like people would say they look like twins, would ask if they're related, if they're sisters. And this grade eight was Cassidy Nurse. So after people had approached Mish asking her if she was related to this new grade eight girl, you know, she was just kind of curious and she finally met Cassidy in the corridors. Mish later said that the first time she saw Cassidy and they met, there was just this undescribable connection between the two. And she really, she can't explain it. She just felt this love, like she'd known this person. And after that, they became best friends, despite the fact that Cassie was in grade eight and Mish was in matric. They formed like a great friendship. They'd call each other older sister, you know, like here's my older sister, here's my younger sister. And they really did have a sister-like friendship. So one day when Mish and Cassidy were hanging out, you know, doing their usual best friend things, they took a selfie and the selfie was later described as the picture that brought Stephanie home. So they took this picture and Mish went home and she showed her parents 
and they just it was just the picture to them like they were surprised like, oh this girl looks like you but it really wasn't a big deal however for the nurses this was this was such a big deal they couldn't believe it they really thought that this was their baby girl that was abducted 17 years ago and this was the third time they had hope the other two times they thought that they would bring Zephini home and it turned out it wasn't her so the nurses looked at this picture and they were convinced they were convinced that this was Zephini nurse after this Cassidy's dad asked her to just meet up with Mish just so that he could see them and just see for himself you know and just decide whether this was his baby girl and you know maybe just because parents know best parents know who their children are you know and that's what they did Cassidy met up with Mish and it was great just normal things they did and her father stood outside and as soon as he saw them together he was gobsmacked he couldn't believe it he said they looked like twins like everything was the same their mannerisms how they moved like it was just a really scary moment but it just brought so much hope for the nurses after this cassidy's dad went to the police and they decided to open up the investigation into zephany nurses kidnapping once again a couple of weeks later while mish was in her maths lesson she got called to the principal's office and once she got there there were two social workers waiting for her and they just asked her if she had ever heard about the case of baby Zephany who had been kidnapped 17 years ago at the hospital and Mish just told them that she didn't know the story it's the first time she's ever heard of it and the social workers then proceeded to tell her that they thought that she was Zephany and you know Mish said no she denied this and told them that she was born at Retreat Hospital which is about a 20 minute drive away from Kruetis Kier Hospital and after that, the social workers told her that there was no record of her ever being born on the 27th of April. They took her DNA and ran it against Stephanie's parents and the results came back as positive. Mish Solomon was Stephanie nurse. Mish was taken to a safe house and all she really wanted to do was go home. Go home to the people she knew as her mom and dad, her family, and they wouldn't let her. She hadn't seen her mom, she hadn't seen her dad, she was confused, you know, she knew these people as her parents and all of a sudden they're telling her that she was a kidnapped baby known as Zephany Nurse and she just really didn't know what to do. On the other hand, the nurses were excited, they were happy, their baby girl was finally going to come home after 17 years and it was a celebration for the nurses every year they had been celebrating Zephanie's birthday and for them finally they'd be able to celebrate her birthday with her Mish said the day she met her biological parents she really just didn't feel that excited or anything they were crying they were hugging her you know they were happy their baby girl was back home and she just didn't want that she wanted them to stop hugging her she didn't know why they were crying you know they were hugging her tight and all she could just think of was like why aren't they letting me go like i don't know why they're hugging me i want my mom my mom's in prison you know like what's going on she later said that she felt sorry for them because she didn't feel connected to them she had literally no emotional connection to them and you can't blame her because for the past 17 years she lived with the people that she knew as her parents the solomons and now here were these people they were hugging her you know she didn't understand why they were crying why they wouldn't let her go and she just felt sorry for them because she just really didn't feel anything and they kept calling her Zephany and for her her name was Mish her name was Mish Solomon and she didn't know who the Zephany person was and she just didn't understand why they kept calling her that because for her that wasn't her name because Mish Solomon was a minor when she was kidnapped her name couldn't be released to the media they only knew her as Zephany Nurse and because they kept trying to protect her new identity they couldn't release her mother's name as well 
However, four years later, Mish went to the courts and asked for them to remove the ban of publishing her name and they agreed. It was only in August last year that Mish Solomon's name was released to the public, as well as her mother's name, Lavana Solomon. To this day, Mish Solomon still uses the name Mish and that's who she identifies with. Yes, she is Zephanie, but for 17 years she grew up as Mish Solomon and that's who she is and that's who she wants to be and that's how she will always be known. After this case happened, you know, the nurses had hope and unfortunately things just didn't turn out the way they wanted it to. Cassidy and Mish's friendship kind of just crumbled away and there was just family drama all the time. If you search Stephanie's name, if you search Cassidy's name or even their father's name, more nurse, there's just drama that just keeps coming up. You know, it's just kind of sad that the nurses just wanted their daughter home and they just didn't get the reunion that they all hoped for. Lavana Solomon was sentenced to 10 years in prison for the kidnapping of baby Zephanie Nurse. Her husband Michael Solomon was never charged as investigators couldn't find any evidence that he knew about the kidnapping. Lavana Solomon however claims that she is innocent and says that she met a woman whose name is Sylvia. Coincidentally Sylvia doesn't have a surname. And the Sylvia person worked at a fertility treatment center and after Lavana had a miscarriage, just gave her the baby as some sort of adoption. Investigators looked into this and there was no evidence to support Lavana's claim of a Sylvia. In August 2019, Misha Solomon released a book called Stephanie. Two mothers, one daughter, an astonishing true story. You can buy the book on Take A Lot not sponsored <laughs> so that is it for today's case if you guys found it interesting please give me a thumbs up i try to post videos like this all the time so if you are interested in crime cases that have happened specifically in south africa please subscribe down below and i'll see you guys next time bye